Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video tutorial we will learn how to make this sliding chest of drawer in just a few minutes with Autodesk Fusion 360. So let's get started. We will open the last file and make a copy. Paste of 200 mm above the previous one. Then sketch a rectangle on the side plane. Project the geometry, bottom and top, and make the geometry. Extrude for 12 mm. New body, enter. Then pull, press and pull command, select the top and pull for 3 mm. Mirror command, select the body. Select the middle plane, enter. Then sketch another rectangle on the back of the drawer. Select the plane, project the geometry, sketch the rectangle and extrude for 12 mm. Go to the top. <coughs> Select the plane. Project the geometry, take a rectangle and extrude for 18 mm. Now take press and pull command and pull 10 mm all around. Front and the left side. Now select the front drawer, construction line, 30 mm, sketch a circle and extrude cut. Enter. And we will have the same to the other side, to the other drawer. Then go to appearances, select the material, polymide and apply apply all around take the glossy black and apply to the faces now let's go to the library and import the full handle. Select the sizes, select the component, select the right file and the import. Open the material library and apply the chrome. Join command Center, center point to center point, flip, mo rigid motion, enter. Copy and paste the object. Join command, center to center, rigid motion, enter. Go again into the library, select the caster's wheels, take the proper one, right size, right dimension, download the file, step file, rotate and align with the chest of drawer. The top face with the bottom faces select the object and move on the back select again move on the right now copy and paste the object move on the left copy and paste 
in both wheels and move to the back. And the job is complete. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment below, subscribe to my YouTube channel and contact me for your next project. Thank you so much.